Hi guys, this is AC Game. We're back with a new video on Punishing Grey Raven. Now, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at my account progression so far. So, I don't know if I should say it's been one day so far, but um, technically, reset has already happened a long time ago. So, I can still count this as my first day progression. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at what I've done so far. As you can see, I have reached level 35, and I highly recommend people to rush to get to level 35 because then you will be able to get all your daily um, rewards done and so you, then you can get more xp and stuff like that so getting to level 35 unlocks a bunch of stuff in the game so let's go ahead and take a look at that before we do that don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on punisher gray raven tell me down in the comment section how you guys are enjoying the game if you guys did re-roll or something like that go ahead and tell me down in the comment section now let's get right into it so we've got members let's go ahead and see what my cp or bp is as you can see i solely worked on karina over here here karenina sorry i keep butchering the name it's very hard to say it unless i say karen then i go with nina afterwards but yeah karenina i love this character when she does her is it ultimate she does a huge a huge amount of dps damage that it makes it easy to clear some of the boss stages because when i know like the boss has like four like four health bars completely i just need to pop the ultimate and she does a ton of damage as you can see i do have some six star um is it called memory yeah we go that is because if you top up now let's go ahead and take a look at this actually so we go over to top up i did spend a little bit now this game is actually worthwhile spending just a little bit amount so overall i spent about 15 pounds literally 15 pounds so i bought the 5.99 pack however this is in dollars but it gets changed into pounds which is basically four pounds actually then i just spent like 14 pounds now that i think about it then i went ahead and bought the 71 rainbow cards which is 11.99 but for pounds it's literally like 9.99 which is perfect and then yeah so that was like overall 14 pounds literally that's all i spent and with that i was able to buy this monthly card over here as well as this one as well because i want to push ahead in content so i want to level up fast enough however i just realized that I only really needed to do this just to get all the way to level 35 without spending that much uh, refresh with my black tickets. Yes, leveling up faster will be the best, but to be honest, all I really wanted to get to was level 35. But I guess with this, I should be able to push all the way to level 50 within two more days, and that should be fine. So I did go ahead and buy both of this, and then with my last like six remaining i went ahead and bought the five packs over here definitely worth getting so with that if you go over to the total recharge i did not even know this but you get rewards for bu buying stuff in the game as you can see 105 that's what i bought so i was able to get three of these packs over here um actually you can't really see it now but uh, yeah i bought i got three packs and within those packs we we're able to get six memory um we we're able to get four memory um for characters for six star memories which was amazing because that memory is actually quite good and i decided to put it on my karina because she's obviously my main dps damage dealer so i need to focus on her um they also gave me some five star gear which i actually don't use because it's for um, lucia over here and i actually don't use lucia so as you can see they gave us a skin as well this is an amazing skin um i wish they gave me a selector ticket to get like, to collect to select a skin that i would want because i don't think i would ever use this character um which is kind of upsetting but this skin is quite nice to get um also as you can see five star uh, katana over here i managed to get that they gave me that for free and then go over to my karenina uh i was leveling up all the memory stuff um it's not like obviously with six star memories you want to level them up and get further with them so that's what i was doing uh, right now i actually lack resources to upgrade them so if you go over to enhance as you can see only like two which i'm gonna actually do now and there it is so perfect um kind of need to go ahead and farm all of this stuff to get more memory stuff but that is fine um there we go so uh, my karenina this is a power level um, bp sorry there we go and then we go over to nanami this is what i have for her obviously with the five star what's this called again memory i haven't really worked on it i probably will get it only to like level 25 because there is a mission that i need to do which i need to get my memories to level 25 so i will do that later on but with the gear i have or the weapon sorry this is all i have a four star weapon now using a four star weapon isn't bad especially because you can go ahead and get five star weapons actually can you farm them i'm not really too sure 
I'm not sure if you can farm some five star weapons, but um, you can get four star weapons pretty easily. So I did that to get um, wherever she has a four star weapon for her. Now, eventually, I will get a five star weapon for her because the game gives you one for free. And obviously, second day login, you do get this for free as well. So I will go ahead and level this up even further. But with Liv over here, I only have about a battle power at um, 1087. So not too much. However, I will be able to push that um, later on. But yeah, this is currently my characters that I'm working on right now. The rest of them, um, if I go ahead, um, because I did get a dupe copy of her, I believe I can actually um, evolve her even more. Oh, I've already done it. So as you can see, six. Now, when you get to level 35, I believe you do get a reward. Um, let's go over to items. I think I collected it already. We go over to materials. Yeah, you get given this. I don't know what you have to do, but I got this for free. But I don't believe there is an event. Actually, there is an event banner right now. I won't use it on it because it's for Lee and I don't want to use Lee. I'm just going to wait for Alpha. I probably will make a separate video talking a little bit about Alpha and why you should save for her. So stay tuned for that. Um, These are all the items I have currently. I have been farming some cogs. Uh, some skill points and I should have um, been farming some um, some equipment XP materials now that I think about it since I got some six star um, artifacts not memory sorry now if you don't have a six star uh, if you don't have a six star memory I do understand why you wouldn't be farming this because you don't really need to upgrade your uh, memories if it's only five stars but sooner or later you'll be able to push this further so my main goal now is to get all the way to 612 to unlock all of this further uh yeah so actually wait let's go over to this last one skill points yeah hidden for six and if i go i think i need to be at level 38 to actually unlock that so my main goal now is to push that so we go over to normal go over to hidden and yeah there we go so there is no actually reason for you to free star stages unless you want to go ahead and claim this one over here um i will go back and freestyle them later on but for now it's perfect the way it is right now whenever i want to dump my stamina all i need to do is go over to resources and do that here um i will probably go ahead and do some equipment xp materials actually let's do that now um so i have some gameplay in that video as you can see by my black tickets i did spend a lot on recharging let's go ahead as you can see i only have six att attempts left usually i believe you get 10 so technically it means i've done four recharges today and actually on the first day before reset i did two recharges as well so yeah to push all the way to level 35 it does take a lot of recharging and stuff like that so let's go over to this this is the current team let's put on the data stuff now when i play this game i actually play it on my pc it's quite enjoyable i need to get used to the key bind so that's why i decided to do that uh, so yeah let's go ahead and do this right now now it's actually a lot easier to play on the mobile device than pc but um it's still gonna be hard to dodge and all of that stuff but yeah we should be able to clear all of this relatively quickly so yeah graphics all set at maximum so we're gonna do that oh judge out the way thank you i'm gonna bring this character there we go it's gonna be gg's like pretty quickly if you think about it there we go oh where is it at there we go see gg's gg's we're too strong for this stage but right now even if the battle power recommended is above yours just go ahead and clear it especially with support characters um this should be easy to do so you actually need all of this resources over here gonna try and push to level 38 during actually let's see if i could get all the way to level 38 before reset happens this is co-op it opens a specific time um right now i actually missed this so okay that's fine we'll go over to challenger we still got um, phantom pain cage now it's very hard to do rose blade now i need to remember how he um attacks and stuff like that i believe you can actually go and test out his ability yeah there we go trial zone now if you want to get better at attacking certain bosses this is perfect oh some of them are locked at level 50 that sucks that honestly sucks there is some boss i want to like learn the patterns we do go against this boss early on in the story so i don't know why it's locked behind level 50 let's say someone wants to recognize the playstyle or recognize the moves for the character they should have been able to go over to here but since it's locked behind level 50 that kind of sucks um is there any bosses over here that I care about no there isn't this is literally dead um now that i think about it there is a specific boss i want to like learn his patterns and stuff like that let's see can i find them yeah there it is so yeah okay i need to do that so i can learn its patterns and that should be easy anyways um that is all i want to cover in today's video tell me down in the comment section how your progression is going so far um yeah level 35 go ahead and add me i am in the europe server um obviously uk europe server 
tell me down in the comment section if you guys are going to top up as well topping up is actually quite worth it it isn't that expensive uh only 15 pounds and i don't think i want to spend any more than that maybe in the future when there's a banner i really care about but we'll see about that i might actually continue to do um sorry to buy the monthly benefits every single month it isn't too much now that i think about it if i remember correctly it's about 5.99 if i am right um so that is quite cheap now that i think about it so yeah it's video boy ac gamer and i'm out